Elon Musk is a f***ing troll, man. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Y'all already know why it is, man. That boy Dimeworth just came straight out and said, Elon Musk is a villain. And then somebody went ahead and they made this joint right here, bro, which is hilarious to me. Which is, this is, uh, this is, if you don't know, this is the Incredibles. And this is where he's saying, I'll, I'll sell my thing, I'll sell my invention so that everybody can have superpowers. And when everybody ha is super no one will be. Y'all already know what it is, man. Like I said, this dude a troll, man. I, I can't lie to y'all. But you know what's not troll? What's not troll is every single Friday we give away $50 in VC, $50 in Cash App, or $50. I mean, or uh, a video game of your choice, man. The extra regular ass edition. All you gotta do, like the video, put Elon down in the comment section, and um and you'll be entered right there. Tomorrow we're gonna be giving away $50 in VC Cash App, or we're gonna give away um, a, a extra regular ass edition of a game. You can get God of War Ragnarok. You wanted that game, you can get that joint. You want Call of Duty, you can get it. Either way. Also, if we can average 8K views, man, just keep liking the videos and stuff, man, if y'all don't mind, man, so we can get that 8K views so I can give one of y'all either $500 or I can give one of y'all a, um, uh, a Xbox, a next gen console, a Xbox, PlayStation, or a laptop or something like that, man. Make this thing a merry, merry Christmas, merry holiday for y'all, man. And then pretty much with all that out of the way, man, let's just get right into the video. So the 2K community, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna go too far into it, man, because a lot of people have a lot of philosophies on it. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people feel some type of way about the whole check mark thing, bro. All I know is I read tweets for a living, pretty much. That's what I do. So I seen a lot of people in their feelings about it. I started to put those out there and then I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, man, because I don't wanna do a disservice to anybody that actually got one or whatever like that. My opinion on it, I totally understand. I ain't got no problem with it. A lot of people should have been verified already and they just they just went ahead and went through the process. Uh, a lot of people, they, you know, they, they do it, did it in anticipation of getting verified. So like, let's say when you, when you're a content creator, when you when you decide to become a content creator, right? A lot of times what you want to do, you want to go on all social media platforms, all the gaming platforms, all that stuff, and lock down all your handles, right? And when you lock down all your handles, what you really want to do in a lot of cases is uh, once you lock those handles down, you want, you like with Twitter or something like that, you want people to know that this is the Twitter of the person that does this page or this is what this or that right there. You don't want people to have like how it is down in the comment section with the bots and stuff where they tell y'all this is Jay Easy on Telegram and all this stuff and you know it's not me, all that. So if you could do that and that could give you an extra layer of security as a content creator, then I think that'll be cool. And then obviously you can always look and see if they just bought the check or whatever like that. So that's, that's cool. I guess that was a cool feature, but it is what it is. I just feel like a lot of times that we just that, that I think we over dramatize stuff like that, man. Some people was like, man, man, you know, like I, I had to work for mine. They had to, they had to, they could just buy theirs and stuff like that. I don't think it, I don't even feel like there's, it, it ain't nothing to it. Cause anybody can say that about anything. It could be like how people be talking about old money and new money. How people would talk, would, would say that people from YouTube, oh, you just made videos. I had to get out there and grind for mine and, and get real, you know what I'm saying? Get my money and do this and that, you know, make a business, all this stuff. And like, I don't, I don't, I ain't trying to diminish nothing that nobody's doing but we will talk about the funny stuff that people was doing man look jay bridge force is a fucking troll too bro this dude said twitter blue check marks are are about as meaningless as the nba I mean, as the 2k logo in nba 2k 23. they was saying that's a wild take hey my boy stacks he's a troll too this joker said nah if you pay for if you paid money to get be verified on a free app you're just weird bro <laughs> That boy Bandit said, but dude hit me in the DMs and asked me for $8 so he could get him something to eat, but he verified. Eat that check mark, gang. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, these dudes is crazy. And last but not least, bro, we had the guy Elon Musk, man. He just said, please note that Twitter will be doing a lot of dumb things in the coming months. We will keep what works and change what doesn't. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I think that, that the verification program is I think I mean I think it's a W, man. A lot of people, a lot of you got a lot of people that should have been been verified because they've got a huge following and this just helped them go on and get there. And then you got some people that, you know, like I said, they just starting off and they just want to go ahead and get that so you know that that is them. But the only I think the only downfall is I don't know, I don't know. Well, I guess they do do it. So if you verify that that's you, this is me, this is my official joint, then nobody else could do it. And, and try to claim to be you or what have you, I guess like that. Cause I mean, obviously you can't, you can't 
be verified and then claim that you're this person or something like that. I don't know how the whole process goes, but like I said, I ain't got no problem with it, man. Letting them people live their best life. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Letting them people live their best life, man, and do their thing. I just like all the funny takes and stuff like that. That joke was hilarious to me. Bandit is branded is crazy. Hey, up next, we got that boy Class say, What do you like and dislike about NBA 2K23? I'll start. I like the fact that I like the fact that it's green or miss. I dislike that there is no apparent skill gap. Um as in if two players, if two top players, no matter who no hold on. if two top players no matter the game mode play the better player doesn't win 10 times out of 10 it's just who gets blessed more i ain't gonna lie man that's that is one of them things that that does happen uh i guess if it's top players up at the tippy top uh but no bum is gonna beat you and that's one thing that i do like about it uh i do understand what people are saying like how the rim running is just too easy but like i said we just got to take into account that even you know, if they rim run it's only two just don't give up the three and we still gonna win the game nine times out of ten like that's just how it happens actually probably nine and a half times out of ten but you know it does get irritating that there are not enough stone walls and when people i got a 97 perimeter and somebody with 70 dribbling or 80 dribbling they can dribble straight into me and like i can't stifle them at all when they make an egregious mistake that's one of the things that i really don't like but hey it's all good it's just one of those things where you just have to you got to take the good with the bad and like we benefit from it just like we complain about it but y'all let me know what y'all what, what y'all think down in the uh comment section what are your likes and your dislikes uh on the game so far the boy shakedown kind of tried to help us out man and try to try to help us understand ducking because i ain't gonna lie to you man um I was just doing some of the dumbest dunks in the world. Now, there is an animation glitch. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. But he says, no longer call aggressive dunks. There are, they are now skilled dunks. Only holding R2 will no longer guarantee you a dunk. So that's what Brute was talking about earlier this morning. Like, he go, he does R2, and it doesn't give him a dunk. It'll give him a layup. So he says, only holding R2 will no longer guarantee you a dunk. If, you, uh, if your dunk rating is high enough, use these commands to force a skill dunk and so this is what you have to do now so you got to go up uh on the stick up on the stick in order to do it now he does up on the stick a lot i don't know why it doesn't do it for him a lot of times but you know it is what it is uh right and left you know strong in the weak hand and then you got all uh, the rim hangs double up is the flashy two hand so i got to keep that in mind and then uh up down is the flashy one hand i mean down up is the flashy one hand so i got to keep those things in mind and then up down is where you'll where you'll uh, do the skill dunk with the meter and then down down is the rim hang skill dunk with the meter i do not have enough dunk rating to do any of those so what i do is i go to the rim and then i switch that thing up and then you know get get my mj on spectacular move by jordan now, i guess a pro tip man if you can't really dunk like that just switch the dunk up, put on Acrobat on bronze, and then just switch that joint up, man. You'll complete those way more than you're gonna complete some of those dunks, like if the center's biting down or something like that. So just keep that in mind. Up next, man, they said the boy, the boy Aiden Ross got got the S word last night and um live on stream and then banned from Twitch. Now he has subsequently been reinstated to Twitch. Like a lot of times when you get when you get that. When that happens to you, I hate that that happens to anybody. They gotta stop that stuff. I wish that they had stiffer penalties and they wish they would make a do a more concerted effort to find the people that did it. But um, like I said, yeah, if if when that happens, a lot of times what'll happen is Twitch will go ahead and ban you because they don't want the law enforcement and the whole scene to play out on Twitch. So like sometimes, all right, so like for instance, when that happens, they're not gonna let you go over to your computer and turn the stream off 99% of the time because they don't want you, if something's happening, they don't want you to get rid of evidence or what have you. So they're not gonna let you go turn it off. So Twitch will ban you to get the stream off or what have you like that. Obviously you've been reinstated and everything is going back and it's all good. But it's just one of those things where it's unfortunate, man. And I wish that they had stiffer penalties. Um, It just sucks, man. Like, I, I, I just don't know. Hey, that boy Garcelle said, we need 1v1 in theater this Friday permanently and I ain't gonna lie to y'all man um 1v1 but be specific baby one one v one winners I mean losers out that's what you want you want the one where where it's 1v1 losers out you don't want the one where it's 1v1 uh like it is now man I, I don't I'm I really don't I really don't rock with the one that's there now I ain't gonna lie I want a chance you get a chance I want a chance you get a chance I think that's probably the best one and then um Last but not least, man, I just want to ask y'all this. Would y'all stay here? The underwater hotel in the Maldives. I'm going to be honest. I don't like being in more water 
that I can drink. I ain't gonna cap to you, or that I can bathe in. Now, obviously this is shallow water, what have you, and you know, you just swim up out of there. But to me, man, I'd be like, bro, I, I don't know, man. And I can swim, I can swim actually very well. I swim like a fish, and it's a beautiful spot. I just don't know if I'm that comfortable with water to do that, man. Just like I ain't that comfortable with those cliffside joints. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie though, man. You get your little back, and I ain't never been with a bag. But if you, have, if you get your little baddie and go down there, it might be fine. Nah, nah, I just said I ain't never been with a baddie, but you know what Bridget about to come in here and say, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Why are we with a, I ain't never been with a baddie. Yeah, all right, yeah, I, I got a bad, but Bridget ain't getting on under there, man. That's underwater. She really don't really rock with water like that either. And uh, I, I don't know if I would be able to convince her to do to do this right here. Y'all let me know, would y'all do it? And do y'all think y'all significant other would be convinced to do it? I don't think Bridget would do it because she just, she just water heights, that cliffside joints and all that. I don't think she would do that, man. But um, I ain't gonna do it either just because. Bro, I would hate to be sleep and anything happen. That must be on the most stable stuff on earth because any type of any type of earthquake or anything, a crack, a fissure, that whole thing coming down, bro. I'm sorry, I can't do it, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, obviously, like we said, put Elon down in the comment, comment, and uh, comment and comment Elon if you made it this far somewhere in your uh, joint, and then uh, get in it to win those contests. And I'm gonna holler y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, please.